Hey guys, what's up? This is Y from iDeploy.net. Here's my D2+. Plus. Uh, the D2+, plus, um, it's an outstanding uh, mini media player, or uh, mini PMP uh, VM, which in some posts I put an M, and then I put PMP, which the M stands for mini, because I consider this a mini PMP, a mini uh, uh, portable media player. But anyways, uh, basically the pretty much the same as the regular D2, besides the casing is a little bit different, uh, but as far as all the ports and whatnot, they are pretty much the same. The only drawback, if you were to buy a D2 Plus, is that it does not come with the AC charger, whereas the D2, um, the regular D2 came with the AC charger, but you can get a hold of the AC charger for the D2 or whatever on Amazon for around 8 bucks. Though the shipping is going to be an issue, or I, I I think I think it's free shipping for us U.S. users. Um, let's see here. Also, the other issue that I uh, remembered, uh, though I didn't have a D2 Plus, but I read about it, is that some users indicated that flash UI such as CoverSlide and Darkstage, uh, the config files that are used to customize the UI into um, make changes to some options could not be used regardless of where you put that config file. Um, that is still yet the case with the latest firmware. Um, uh, I tried using the simple flash can loader and that still did not uh, fix the issue. Um, I tried disabling and re-abling the flash UI and restarting. That didn't fix the issue. I tried um, uh, having a game and exiting it and going back and that still didn't uh, fix the issue but uh, um, now with uh, and also with uh, OLED uh, from uh, Kazuna uh, his flash UI does work with the cup art or, or with the background excuse me with the background that you can put within the system folder which you just name it wall.jpg uh, that is detected but the config file for that is not detected which is very very sad for me um, I did also try to put the D2 firmware on this device and that did not go well at all because I thought I had totally break the player but the um, uh, reason why I thought it was totally break because the, the only difference between the D2 and D2 Plus hardware rise um, hardware is the touchscreen uh, controller. Uh, the D2 uses a separate uh, uh, touch controller for the screen. The D2 Plus uses a dedicated, which is on chip. Uh, well, with that said, the of course the D2 driver for the touchscreen controller that's embedded with the firmware is not going to work with the touchscreen driver on here it's because they're different. They're different. Uh, so with that, um, what I actually had to do was uh, the D2 was um, the uh, D2 Plus was being detected regularly, even though I would press and hold the menu button, which puts it into recovery mode. Uh, what I had to do was I had to quickly disconnect and then reconnect really fast, and then uh, TCC tool was able to. Uh, uh, detect the device and I was able to bring back my D2 Plus back to life. Yes, I know, I just bought this, um, but I wanted to try it out regardless of what might may have happened. But thankfully for me, um, I fixed it. So, anyways, um, here is Simple Flash Gun Loader. Um, the thing is, it doesn't load automatically, so I have to go to utilities. I have to go to Flash Player and open up a game. Exit. Go back. See, and there you go. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I have Mainline, uh, 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 Maya Blue, um, OLED UI, and that's the horizontal version. I have uh, uh, scenery, uh, carbonite, um, Icoan classic, which is made from Madman, 
uh, Benjamin, and I have the vertical. We're gonna go to the vertical. This was made from Fish Fritter a while back. Uh, I actually did some videos on my D2 with that, but I have yet since removed those from my account because my email got hacked and the YouTube account was removed. So uh, it's actually a straightforward UI. If you press down here, you get your settings. Uh, you got various settings. Shuffle, repeat, why not? <coughs> and if you press that, it'll bring you up to the browser. Oops. Okay, now the cover art is actually convenient for its size to be displayed. I think it's uh, 240 by 2. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> uh, I'm not too much into that. But it's pretty nice, good size. Now, uh, the only downside is you have to go to utilities and go to game. And I mean, but it's kind of convenient if you're just going to use that flesh UI for your session of when the D2 is on. So, I'm going to go to mainline uh, from Casano. This is one of my favorite main, uh, uh, flashy wise actually. Uh, cover art is very convenient size for this, and for the for the interface itself, it's actually quite nice. Although the only drawback to this is that it's kind of difficult for you to hit the buttons to forward and back because they're so close. And the area of actually touching the button um, is quite small. But I guess it's kind of convenient because you hold it like this and just do that. Or you just hold it by one hand. Yeah. Okay. But that's that one. So I'm going to go back to Simon, which is the game I actually have on here. It's actually quite fun. But I'm not going to play it. <laughs> um, see, let's, let's go to the Icon Classic, and this is probably going to be the last UI I'm going to show you, which this one does take a while to load up. <laughs> this is actually also one of my favorites because it got so much customization to it without even having to customize yourself with a config file because everything in here in the file itself is embedded. So got the nice little let's get a menu and it actually brings up a list um, and the album is kind of shifted but it's kind of uh, blown up a little bit which that's actually quite nice and the text actually um, it actually scrolls which is actually also pretty nice um, see that brings you to the browser And here's the lock screen. And it actually brings you to a slide, which is also pretty neat. Shows you the time, day. Okay, that's that one. Uh, so I'm guessing that's it. Um, here, let me. Okay. Now, uh, the reason why I bought this is because when I bought my D2, and when I held it in my hand, it just feels, I don't know, it's, it's just, when I got this device, I was just so shocked about, about, even at that time, even at that time, 52 hours of battery life, which that's not really a realistic number you would probably only get like 50 or 49 but pretty damn close pretty darn close to the actual um, listed brighter life but for at that time 2006 52 hours is actually a lot a lot of brighter lifetime back then and even still today um cohen 
has upped the scale um, a very good bit uh, with the J3 getting 64, I think, 64 hours. And even with the i7, the i audio 7 it gets 60, which is actually absolutely amazing. Uh, this is why I heart with Cohen. This is why I've kept with Cohen. It's because you cannot beat the audio quality, you cannot beat the battery life, and you cannot beat its features, and you can also not beat the the design that they put in to the to their um, devices. Now the design aspect is good, but when it comes to the UI with the firmware that's embedded with it, it is it it's completely completely sucks. Um, developer Kaizen has actually done a really good job with the S9 and with the J3 in regards as creating flash UIs for the for those devices, which I have here is my S9. So I actually have two devices now. Two devices. So that's nice. And just in case you're wondering, back here is my Android tablet, my Inel Nova 7 Advanced. This is the first generation. It's actually a Advanced 2 model, which is actually quite a little bit better, I guess. <coughs> but anyways, this is my video, and I am out.